Okay, so let's pull everything together and kind of look at um, some of these ideas that we've been talking about with observational studies. Okay, so there's been a lot of studies out there that have tried to answer this idea, right, that cell phones might be dangerous for us, right? They emit some sort of some sort of electromagnetic wave or whatever, right, and, and cause cancer. So here's a few ways maybe you could go about answering that. Okay, maybe someone would try to tell you, well, I heard my friend's mom's cousin, they got one of these cell phones back in the day, one of those big bulky bag phones or something, and they got cancer. I'm sorry to hear about your mom, right? But this is this is just one perspective. This is just one person. It may not tell us about the overall pattern. Let's look at, at another study. Okay, in 2001, we've got this study. You can read about it here. We had we were comparing people with eye cancer to a healthy group here and the results were as follows. It looked like eye cancer patients use their phone more often. Okay, so we could take something out of that, right? Yes, they use their phone more often, but you know, what's what's causality? We don't know a whole lot of other factors. There's lots of confounding factors here. And also one of my thoughts on this was, you know, if you if you developed cancer, unfortunately you might actually have to use the phone more doctor's visits, scheduling things, etc. Okay, let's look at another study. Okay, so it's a it's a similar study. These both seem to be case control type studies. Alright, but this one is about brain cancer comparing healthy to healthy people. Measured with a questionnaire or survey. And here's what they found. Cell phone use was similar. All right, so maybe you're thinking, well, both of these studies, the 2001 and the 2006 study, they both seem to be very, very similar studies, right? They're both, they both seem to be some sort of case control study, right? But they're finding different results. We're finding increased cell phone use here. We're finding similar use here. So what's going on? Well, maybe you could say, well, it looks like here, here this is brain cancer. Maybe cell phone actually causes eye cancer, cell phone use. Who knows? Or maybe we're still not really sure. Okay, so I'm sure these, these people did the best that they could, right? But I don't think we have any, any results here for sure. So how could we go about doing it for sure? Here's another study. I'll let you read about that. It's not quite as many people involved in this one. Okay, so they are simulating a cell phone call. We've got randomization going on here. And the scan showed increased activity in the brain. Okay, so maybe you're thinking, well, wait a minute. The researchers had a lot of control in what was happening here. And yeah, that's right. This isn't an observational study, right? This is more in the controlled experiment realm. Right? We'll talk about controlled experiment, experimental design in the future. Okay, but maybe what you're seeing is in a controlled experiment, it seems like the results of this study, maybe you could put a little bit more stock in. Then again, think about the, the results of this study increase in activity in the part of the brain. Okay, increase in activity, but does that necessarily mean cancer? Maybe not. Okay, so what we're seeing here is, yes, observational studies can do a pretty good job in some cases, but a controlled experiment, we feel a little bit better about claiming causality, but we can't always study everything we want in controlled experiments. All right, so thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.